Born in prison and unable to verify his parents' identities, although he is young, he is skilled in all forms of fighting and possesses a brilliant mind for crime and planned a massive prison riot. Don't let his outward appearance fool you. He is very dangerous. Welcome, guys. Uh, this is a series I'm hoping I can start making. Um, I'm going to go over each individual commander and just show you guys how to build them, what's good about them, what's bad about them, and whether or not they're actually worth using in the game. I decided to start off with one of the most requested ones that I got from my own guild, and <laughs> he's one of my favorite commanders. I bring to you guys the one, the only, Kid. Um, Kid is just a good commander overall, guys. Um, I can probably do one of these videos every day for you guys, if you guys want. Um, we'll see. But I bring to you guys Kid. Alright, so the Kid here. How do we get Kid? Well, Kid can be gotten like this. This is how we can get Kid right here. Through our free daily spins, right? Boom, we got Albert this time. Alright, no big deal. We already have him. We can, oh, look at that. Would you look at that? I think we could evolve Albert. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, there we go. Boom. Look at that. Simple as that. We share our Albert. And bam. Just like that, we got another A class. See, that's that's the beauty about these uh, C class and D classes. You can get them to A class for free. Just normal gameplay, you can get them. Yeah, that's what's fun about them. Now, that's exactly how we get Kid. Um, why is Kid good? Let's go over his skills right here. 20% activation, and this skill, active when it activates, it increases accuracy to all his troops, and it can stack. So if the first, if your first, if your first stack, right, activates, all your troops will automatically get um, that buff, and it's just by one percent per level. So level thirty, that'd be. 30% accuracy, but then it activates again on your next stack. That's another 30% on top of its stack. And that's 60% accuracy. So that's what's really good. He can essentially stand his own against Dodge Gear, which is good in the early game, which is the only time that he's really good. Because once the S classes come out, poor little kid here is not going to stand his own against an S class. I love kid. Great commander, but he will not sign his own against an S class. In the early game, when everybody's running dodge and dodge is god tier, he will be able to do a lot of damage. Let's go to the second ability. Overdrive. 40% chance to trigger before next action, before action. Um, so when this attack, when this skill activates, he will do an additional two attacks on top of his normal attack. Um, this attack will be a percentage of his normal attack so without any buffs and like that just his normal attack with gear on now the damage is equal to whatever level it is that you have the skill because this skills this scales by one percent per level so you have a level 30 that'll be an extra 30 percent damage on those two attacks of his normal damage that's how much damage it would do so it's just extra poke extra damage and once he gets his s class skill which I don't have mess class yet, not on this account. I have mess class on a different account. I wish I could have shown you that one, but I'm kind of lazy to log into that account. But uh, here on this one, it's the S class ability. He attacks the entire front row, just even more damage, more poke. So you have, let's see, one, two, three, and then his normal attack, four attacks he could potentially use against one individual stack. Now, what is his build? His build will be a Dodge Thalmus Booster. So number six. Is the standard what I run? See, we'll also run number three. See, I mean, he makes it up for his own accuracy, so minus 12 accuracy really doesn't matter for me um, because he will get his own accuracy back. And we're gonna run him with dual dragon slayers. So, here we go. Um, I have another dragon slayer on another commander, so we'll equip him with this just to fill in the blank. Then we're going to give him a Shadora for just massive defense. This is not my best Shadora. Don't think that it is. And then we, we would give him a Gale while they're being used. So let's just give him this. So, okay, we haven't used that. Okay, so his standard build would be Dual Dragon Slayer. Don't ignore this. Pretend it's a Dragon Slayer. So it would be a Dual Dragon Slayer, Shadora, and a Gale for extra dodge. That would be his build in the early game. That's the absolute early game. All right. Um, but once the event gear starts to come out, um, you have two choices. He, you won't be able to get a mass class 
you might be able to get a mass class right away. You might. Um, I don't know. You might have a lot of money. Up to you. But if you can't get them A class or S class before the S class come out so you can feed them away, I hate to say it, but we're essentially just going to use them until we can get an S class. And then once we get that S class, um, he's kid is going to take the back seat. He's going to become a farmer. We're going to use him to farm. He's great for farming uh, pits, monsters, stuff like that. He that's what he that's what he's going to do. He's going to take back seat to that S class. And then once kid gets to S class, we're going to feed him away. You can get him back later on through spins. And if you have any skins for him, um, you will be able to keep the skin. As soon as you get kid back through, the, through another spin, his skin will be saved for you. So you, you don't have to worry about that. Alrighty. So, uh, what else? Alright, I was going to show you his god tier. So, I'm going to pause the video real quick. And then, I'm going to go over to my <laughs> to my gallery and show you guys all the gear that I suggest would make him a god. And that's if you really want to use him towards the end game. I personally wouldn't. I would just transfer him to an S class book and keep him as a farmer though. Um, the dual dragon slayer, Shidora, the Gale, and Thalmus booster is a standard solid build for him. Um, what jewels to run on him? That's before I switch. That's kind of important. Um, I would run personally a Gemini jewel set. Um, just whatever Gemini jewel sets you have laying around. Because they're going to give him a guaranteed hit. They're going to give him an extra poke with his overdrive. Which would be 1, 2, 3, normal attack, 4. And potentially 5 attacks he can do to one stack of enemies. Which would just be amazing. A lot of poke. And just a lot of damage from this little guy. He's just one of my favorite commanders overall. Um, let's switch over to the gallery. And then I'll show you guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, we're back. That was... To me, that was kind of like a few minutes, but for two guys, it was just seconds. All right, so let's look at his gear right here. So right here, we have the God of Speed. God of Speed is good on pretty much any commander, but the reason I, re I recommend it for Kid is because if he's fighting airships, well, he will likely have to fight him someday, some point. Um, the Speed of God here gives a whole lot of dodge and a total resistance to weaken effect. That means that if you're fighting airships, airships naturally do more damage to you because they're your counter. But with this, they do less damage because of well, the buff. So that's just that makes them tankier and take less damage against airships, which would which is always really nice, right? So that's one you can run. That's one legs. There's another pair of legs I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So just bear with me. So right here, <laughs> this is the god chest plate for walkers. Damn it, that ah. My phone. Oh, well, this is the God chest plate for walkers. As you can see, 120 HP at plus 20, 60% dodge. That is an incredible amount of dodge. They can still put jewels on it and do whatever. This is a chest plate, by the way. That's a stupid amount of HP to have on a chest plate. Now, when it comes to his weapons, uh, I'll show you guys. His no weapons a minute. Now, you can run him with the Eye of the Abyss, even more accuracy on him, and just to create damage. If you can pick your jewels, if you're able to farm his jewels, like you win the Versus system or Ace of Galaxy, you win that multiple times, and you get a lot of Taurus jewels, and you're able to pick the cream of the crop jewels, um, I would go with crit then. At that point, I would go with crit. You get crit in his weapon, crit just as much crit as possible because we already know he will have accuracy at this point. Then with the crit damage, he's just going to clean up, man. There's there's no way. You can't go wrong. Now, one of his weapons that is a must for Kid, the Apocalypter. A lot of damage, some extra accuracy. You can put some crit on there. You can put some accuracy on there. You can do whatever you want, but this is essentially a must. Um, just a whole lot of damage. And this is how it comes normally. It comes at plus 13 normally. That's if you get it through the event. If you get it through, like, just um, a spend gold event, which is how you got that shield right there. You can see it plus 10. The reason that was not plus 13 is because I got it through that event. And then I had to refine it myself. So that's what happened there. But the norm all event gear normally comes at plus 13. So this right here, as you're seeing it, is as strong as the weapon's going to be. A lot of damage, good accuracy. Now the barrier. See, here we go. The barrier is normally a plus 13. So it'd be a... Plus 40 plus, obviously, HP and defense. You give him one of these. 
since his chest plate will already give a whole bunch of HP, that'll give him a lot more. And then some extra defense because he's kind of lacking it. But, here we go. Oh yeah, here are the jewel sets. Uh, let's, let's skip the jewel sets for now and come over to the... Not those pants. Yeah, next pants. Okay, never mind. Never mind. These are the pants we want right here. Because his chest plate gives more HP than no defense and dodge. We could give him these pants right here. These pants, you get these pants through your faction. So you have to go into your faction. Like uh, Stella or the Knicks are. Let's see. Nick Zass faction. You join that faction. You have to be revered. Once you get revered, you can start. These pants are hard to get. Let's put it this way. They're very hard to get. So, once you get revered and you can unlock Stella, then you will have a chance to be able to get these chests. The chests have tokens in them. You can use two tokens plus 50 Shadow Matter and 100 of those crystals and 14 mil parts to make. Yeah, they're not easy to make. But as you can see, they are beyond busted. A lot of dodge, a lot of defense. And with that Walker chest plate, just super tanky walkers. And then again, if we give them a barrier instead of Dual Apocalyptor, a kid can be very tanky. Here's another headpiece he can run. Devastation Helm. A lot of attack. Again, we know he has a crate. We give him to Apocalyptor for extra extra accuracy if we want. Accuracy jewels to compensate. And we can just go pure damage and crit. Um, he can do a lot of damage. That's why I love Kid. Let's move over to the jewels. Now that we're back to the jewels, we got the Gemini jewel set here, which I like, but they're kind of hard to get. You have to get these throughout the week. As the game, uh, in the Versus system or the Ace Galaxy system, however you know it, you can buy chests. A random number one, number two, number three, number four, number five chest. Now, or well, not number five, number four. Yeah. So in these chests, it's random. You have a chance to get a Taurus, Sagittarius, Libra, or Gemini Jewel. That's why Gemini Jewels are kind of hard to get. You can't really be super picky or you can buy this bundle that gives you a full Gemini jewel set or you can do it during Oracle events to get Geminis there's ways to get Gemini besides just farming them they're kind of rare but they're very good once you have two Gemini jewel sets you get an extra 30% attack again kid can just do massive amounts of damage We've, once he gets a full Gemini jewel set he can do up to five attacks to one stack of troops just a whole lot of poke I love kid a lot and then we move over to the Taurus Jewel Set. Now, if we're running here with the Speed of God and this, he'll make him tankier against airships, so he can, he'll be able to take on his own a bit more. And then once the full Jewel Set gets completed, oh, he gets another skill, right? Uh, the Weather Gemini Jewel Set lets you get another attack at 20% activation. This one gives you 20% activation again, but one attack, right, at 100% the damage that is busted just a massive amount of damage and if you're running a crit build if he crits on that just wow the Taurus jewel set is the easiest jewel set to get for the walkers essentially for this jewel set all you do is wait for the weekend and you can buy a rat you can buy a chest for the Taurus jewel set but it'll be a random number it could be number one two or three or four Taurus jewel that's your best chance to get a full Taurus Jewel set. It is. The Taurus Jewel set is just a great set. It's really just a good set. But that's the gear I recommend for him. Let's go through it again. Um, now that we can over. The God of Speed really depends if you're fighting a lot of airships. If you are, you're going to need it. Uh, the God Chest Plate. This is running for 300 bucks US to get. Yeah, that's if you have no gold saved up, no chest saved up. If you want to get it for sure, 300 bucks is what it's going to cost you. Same for the God of Speed, just a quick heads up. Um, yeah, you're looking at 600 bucks right there. Now, the Eye of the Abyss, wow, that was hard to get. Wow. This one requires you a lot of wins, a lot of those tokens you get from the Verse system and the Ace of the Galaxy system. I forgot exactly how many it requires, but that one... This one's not even a money-wise problem. This was more of a can you even get that many tokens problem. Uh, my Obviously here, my buddy, right here, Kazuto. Shout out, man. Love you. Um, <laughs> he stockpiles a massive amount of wins and just keeps those tokens. So 
on the weekends he could buy the Taurus jewel set and that's how he was able to get it. He already had enough for a full Taurus jewel set or a, a full jewel set in the weekend. But then this came out and he's like, I got this in the bag and he did. He got it right away. Um, this was extremely hard to get. It's not even a money problem. It's just do you even have the wins problem. And then the Apocalypto, one of the cheapest event items to get, but one of the best. It's running for around 100 bucks US. You can essentially get them for 100 bucks. Same with the Barrier, 100 bucks US. You can guarantee to get it. The Taurus, the, the jewel sets, um, that bundle that I was telling you about, that gives you just a full set of every jewel. Uh, the Taurus, Sagittarius, and all that. A full jewel set. Um, that's a hundred bucks too. So keep an eye out for that. Great, great uh, bundle. Now, when it comes to the Knicks pants, uh, hard to tell, man. Hard to tell. Um, people are trying to get them for like five hundred dollars on average. They'll spend trying to get these uh, five hundred plus because you have to be part of a faction of Stella's faction. If you're not, then you have to buy a faction reset to get you back to zero because if you like to if you like Stella's faction then you go to um, another guy's faction um, however much you're into Stella's from positive you'll be in his faction negative so you have to buy a total system reset for that get back to zero on all of them then either skip or do the quest to unlock Stella then once you unlock Stella you get the chests and then even once you have the chests it's not guaranteed to get the token that you need so you have to do that multiple times and hope you get the token <laughs> and then you sell 14 mil parts this is not an easy piece of gear to get but it's definitely one of the best massive muscle dodge in defense the devastation helm um, on average 100 200 bucks this one's a little harder to get but 100 200 bucks is quite a bit so I hope this helps you guys out with kid um, Kid is one of my favorite commanders. He really is. And I hope you guys use him a lot. If you have if you guys have anything to add to this, comment in the comment section. If you guys want uh me to do a different commander, comment that in the comment section. Um if you guys disagree with me, put that in the comment section. L post your best build for Kid. Let's find the absolute best build. I feel like I've done a pretty good job with these two builds. We got the cheap set, and then we got the super god tier uh, build. Just let me know in the comment section. I'll put a link to my Facebook or to or Hydro Facebook down in the below, so you guys can see where we've come from, how far the game's evolved. Um, I did keep the game updated back in the day, like very updated to each commander, what commander was released, everything. <laughs> some little tips and stuff so check out the hydra facebook down down in the description um and then yeah just like the video so we can get higher up in the search in the search as you know and yeah hope to see you guys around the game and if you guys need any help just hit me up on the facebook i'm always on well not always on there but i do try to comment or reach out to you guys as soon as i can all right see ya